Hi there guys, I'm back again, um, we go place all of yous, and keep waking up and keep praying. Uh, I'm going to try and read out with dream number three, to which the Lord had given to me. It was the 18th of March 2013. It was... Um, it was one dream and then it changed to a totally different dream. However, there's one or two um, things that are in it that seem a bit weird. Um, but I'll just read it out. I've got it written down, so I'll just do what I feel. Okay, here goes. I'm inside a submarine. As I turns around behind me, there's what looked like was two big massive steel doors, which I felt that this could be the only, well, the only way in and out. Then suddenly there was men, all rushing around. One or two were running up onto some stairs, heading into another room. Also, I sees some whom are doing something on some type of machine. I do know that there was lights on this machine. Um, what I did feel was an attack. That I felt strongly while I was actually in the dream. Um, but um, in the dream, I wasn't too sure whether if they were being attacked or if they were attacking but there was a lot of activity maybe you know happening inside a submarine with whoever it was it was inside of it um right before i actually go into the part to which i had changed to a different dream because it did what i would like to say to you is um uh, when I first received this dream, I didn't believe, or I didn't think it was a submarine that I was actually being in. I assumed it was something like a nuclear bunker. So from the 18th of March 2013, right up until January, February 2014, I believed that it was a nuclear bunker. However, the Lord pressed on me two things, and it was regarding with this dream. And all he said to me was a submarine and Russia. That had came into my head. Um, and I know myself that it did come from the Lord. Um, and then I had actually clicked that it was to do with this dream, so I had to kind of rewrite it. Um, right, back to the dream. I'm now standing what looks like to be... A sort of farm yard, but it was like wheat, hay, farmyard. I'm standing a far away distance. Up ahead, I see a road, which has only got a left hand turning. There's some buildings and there's a small land. Then I looks up and I sees what looked like to me was a car type aircraft which flies past me and it heads up to the small land and bombs onto this. Then I looks up again and I sees, I think it was either one or two, same aircraft to whom fly past me and go and bomb onto the small land. Then I had woken up. What I think the dream to do with the submarine, um, don't quote me on it as such, as I say, I'm not certain on it. I'm only putting what I feel. Um, what I'm feeling is submarine, okay, Russia. Those to whom were actually rushing around inside the submarine. Um, as I say, there was a few, a few men. I wasn't allowed to see the faces. I was only allowed to see the back 
of them. But what I do remember is the colour of hair. The colour of hair to which they all had was blonde, dirty fair. That was the colour. Um, what I do believe myself is that something to do with Russia being in a submarine and something to do with an attack. But like I said, I don't know if they're the ones to whom are attacking or whether if someone has attacked them. But there's a lot of activity going on inside of the submarine. And then obviously the, the dream changes again. And then, you know, that was the ending of it. Um, I do feel that this obviously is to happen sometime soon, maybe, in the near future. Um, I'll probably try and post, to, you know, one or two of my other dreams that I've received from the Lord some point today. So, I'm going to have to go. And may God bless you all. Keep looking up. Keep praying. And just keep doing what you are doing. Praising the Lord. I thank you. Goodbye.